So, all right, this is Kyle, Kyle's Tracks and Cubs. I hope everyone's having a good night. I'm just out here fooling around with saw shackles. I did something wrong. You got to watch where you put that knot. You don't want to put that knot of a saw shackle up against your grotnet of your rain punch or tarp wherever you use it. Because it'll just come through the grotnet. So don't pit the knot where your grotten is and you won't have problems. As far as these, these are a thing that pass with me. These shaw shackles, like you Thomas, you watch any of his videos, you'll see how it's done. And I'll show you how to do it again on this video, and then we'll attach this rain poncho to a saw shackle or we're attaching it to this, because I don't learn how to carry these around. These got tangled up with each other. Remember, I had them tied off one time or another, and on a different it just got tangled up. So I didn't like that. So I just carried these separately, but I don't have to do it anymore. I believe I can carry a saw shackle. I still have it hooked up to my ridge line. But I didn't think it tangled up. And we'll explore that more as we go on. I'll get back with you so I can show you how I do this. Alright. As you can see, this is how I got hooked up. And just like on the backpack of my last video, I went ahead and pulled this. But you do not want this knot at this ground. If that happens, it's going to go through and the whole thing slips down. That was my problem the first time I did this. And I didn't realize when I went back to the back of Thomas Field where he shows the soft shackle. So to undo it, I just come over here. It's real easy. And just like on the backpack I was using. To undo it, you just simply... Loosen it here. And there we go. Now I'm going to drop this and I'll show you one more time how to do a saw shackle. I'm doing this repetitively because it took me a minute. So you take it just like that. And I'll go ahead and spread these part like this. Take that bottom part and it's under that knot. Remember, it's always under and over. And then make sure I don't have it completely twisted up. Now I just want to take this knot right here and push it through here, which brings that part over. And you're doing this by hand, you kind of got to do it this a little bit different when you're attaching something. I'll force that part, make sure it stays. And there we go. And just like the last video, if I want to tighten something up, I can pull on that, just like that. And then do it, let's grab right here. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Back to the loop. So now, go back over there where it belongs here. Yep. I'm going to put my rain poncho up here. And despite me loosening it, that stayed on there. Sometimes the toggles. If you don't hold on what you got will fall off. So far this is not falling off. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the grunt And I'm gonna put it through here like this. And then all I'm gonna do is take my persistent knot. I'm gonna take it, the knot, like this. So I'm gonna hold it like I normally do. We're gonna go under. Hope my fingers aren't in the way. A little under that knot, just like before. And then, over. Remember, that part goes over the knot. under the knot and over the knot. And I know I'm repeating myself, but that's important to remember. Some of us are hard heads. I know I am. Go. And all I have to do is grab it. And that just tightens right on up. And then if I want more security, I can pull that knot. There we go, that tightens it up a little bit more. As you can see, it's staying. The only thing I have to do now is stake it out, and I got myself a thing to, but we're in my yard, and this thing happens. This over here is the same as this. I believe I can take this, leave this on here now, now I don't have to dig for nothing, it's all attached. I now have a quick deploy ridge line with toggles or the shaft shackle replacing the toggles and I can keep them on here. In fact, we're going to do that right now. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. 
take it just right before loosen it up let me drop a corner here I was on my do and now the same process keep my knot up there under and over always under and over pulling it here keeping that down like that and now I have myself a soft shackle now if I want I can just tip it upside down and just do that and I'll stay on there just like that kind of all ball shape but it's all right I think I'll be fine and then do it all I gotta do is just pull on this pull on that pull on that a little bit more here It's coming undone. And you probably don't have to pull on that. I just do that so it'll stay better. So let's do it again. That's what it's like without me pulling on that. Under. Over. And there we go. I can keep that on there like that. And it does kind of come apart when you do that. So I was thinking those coming apart, I just go ahead and snug it up there. And that snugged up there pretty good, as you can see. So anyways, that's pretty much the end of this video. And we're going to try that. And I'm going to roll that up with my ridge line. I'll send it for six where they belong and everything. And I'll just throw it up like this. And we'll see if this gets tangled up. I know the toggles. That ain't shopping my... <laughs> not long enough. But anyways, we're going to see if it gets tangled up like the toggles. Like I said, I tried to tie the persistent knot onto the toggles. And they just got all kinds of tangled up and I didn't like it. So if this doesn't get tangled up, we're doing good. That means it's down a ridge line. And I don't have to carry nothing else. But the ridge line, I got everything I need. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. It's Kyle Kyle Strikes Trails. If you like what you see on this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to me for those that aren't already. And for those that are, thank you. And go ahead and hit that notification bell where we can get notified. And of course, leave me a comment. I do appreciate and enjoy the comments. We all learn off each other. And of course, that's share the video so I can get my views up there. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate you. I'm out of here. Good night.